Hi folks, welcome to Mipid Retro Journal. This is a quick clip, five minutes or less. Um, I got these um, uh, off of FreeCycle, and what they are, are, um, you can see these have Ethernet ports on either side, and you basically plug them into outlets in your house, and they will automatically connect and give you a, um, an Ethernet connection over the power line. Uh, they actually work really well. Um, you have to, I think this is a button where you sort of try to pair them. Um, and what happens is I think they, they're doing sort of a public key exchange where they're um, maybe Diffie Hellman, <clears throat> uh, where they're both sort of exchanging information and then um, uh, connecting. Uh, people uh, have said, I, I was looking at reviews of these, they have said that, well, they're a bit unsecure because somebody else can plug one of these in and, and, and get access uh, to this uh, without you knowing about it. Well, you'll know about it because then yours can't get access because you don't have two of them uh, connect to each other. Um, and if you're in your own house, then it's pretty unlikely. Now, if you're in a, an apartment complex, that could be an issue, although they, they only really work within their own circuit anyway. But uh, this is not what this video is about, um, because it's, this is a bit modern. But the reason uh, I'm showing this is because it kind of brought back memories of these things um, that I had back in the 90s, um, which are the equivalent RCA ones for um, phone lines. Um, and actually use these to, um, I think you could do slow modem connections um, and phone connections. And I think, and again, correct me if, if I'm wrong, these are made by RCA. I think they do it acoustically. I don't think they send, uh, they create an actual two-wired connection. I think they send an acoustic signal over the um, the, the line. Um, and uh, uh, that's why you could only get a certain number of baud rate. But um, what I want to try, I'm going to put these aside now since, again, I'm not going to play with these on my channel. What I want to try, let me change the camera angle a little bit. So I get a little better angle here. And so um, I've been playing with uh, some, on my QL, I'm running the terminal program that I wrote um, back in the early 90s. And I've got it configured to hook to this. Uh, this is the only modem actually I could find that I kept. It's called a Vocal Stowaway 2400, which I assume is 2400 baud. I've got the computer set at 2400 baud on serial 2. two. Um, and uh, I tried it both on serial 1 and serial 2 because it, do, it does flip the read-write. And I can't get it to work. I mean, there's just nothing that's echoing back. So I don't know uh, if this is working. Out. One, one thing I don't know is uh, where is this getting power from? Because uh, looking at the pin connections that this gives, you can kind of see from the connector, it gives one, uh, 2 through 8 and 20, and none of them are voltages. So I assume this has to power itself. Now, I've read that the RJ11 actually provides power for a phone. So is, is, is this modem getting, does this modem require power from the phone line? And then I'm curious whether this receiver or not. I did briefly plug this in with a line. Didn't make a difference. Uh, does this provide power uh, to the to the? Um, I don't know. So in any case, this is something I want to play with. I also tried on my on my Windows machine uh, uh, with a. Tw I have one that has a 25 pin serial port. So maybe I get this to work and then figure out what the pinout should be. I also have this breakout box, which um, allows me to uh, um, play with serial connections because it has. Uh, uh, yeah, you can do all sorts of cool things with that. But um, what I want to do uh, in the future is uh, play with these because, <clears throat> again, uh, these are old school um, analog uh, audio RJ11. Um, they're obviously bigger than these new Ethernet ones. <laughs> but yeah, I want to maybe hook two old computers together uh, over uh, using modems. I do have a modem for my... Um, uh, another computer I have a modem for is, uh, I believe, my uh, for, for my Mac. So I might get the two to be, to be able to talk to each other. Again, using this over the um, various rooms, maybe upstairs, downstairs, and see if I can get this to work. Um, it worked well back in the 90s when I used them, so uh, and they, they should still be working. But I think it does audio um, and not a digital signal. Uh, so acoustically, and that's why I think either 12 or 20 in front of bars is the best it can do. But yeah, so these, I'm going to pick these up. It just reminded me of what I had, you know, uh, 25 years earlier. Um, and then I tried to sort of find what stuff I had left. Yeah, just a quick clip to kind of share with you um, what I want to play with. So thanks for joining me. and See you next time.